God, I wasn't like sniffling or farting, burping, doing other rude things that I could have been doing. Don't, you can't hear me. This is not, this is your imagination. I'm just trying to get my dad all up to speed with, with the new Skype on his new Skype app. Just, just wait. Shh, 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 wait there. You, you'll be all right. Wait there. Back in a second. First of all, call, call, call me, because he, he was having a problem with his Skype, with his Skype, hold on, I'm going to try and call him now, because I think he, maybe he's waiting for me to call him, I don't know, it's ringing, he's not, he's not, he's not messaging me or anything. Come on. But, hi everyone. You all right? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you up to? <laughs> Hope you're all right. I, it, it, I told him to shut down Skype to reopen it. And he's just disappeared now. It's so irritating. This is how things are today. This is how things are. This is how things have gone so far today. It's like an endless me trying to call my dad with no answer. He did, no, he, but he just means back. I can see. It's almost as if he's struggling to close it down in the first place. Like, <laughs> I can see he's still online. So he hasn't. He hasn't gone offline yet, so I'm just wait, just waiting on that. This is kind. Of, this is basically an accident. I didn't think that my camera was live, and then someone said, "Oh, can you hear sniffling? Camera's live," and I was like, "Oh gosh, yes, it is." Um, so I don't know what's going on, but welcome to the bar, everybody. You can see my Skype options on the TV as well. This is all gone. So swimmingly well. First one, first one back. How are you all doing? God, we'll 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 start in a minute. <laughs> we'll we'll start we'll start again properly in a second. Uh, yeah, he's probably pressing the X button and nothing's happening, but then he's not calling me back. So this is what this is what I'm trying to gauge here. What is what is happening? Hold on. Let me call him. Let's do this. Let's do this properly. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Okay, can I speak to him, please? Okay. Right. You're gonna try and log into Skype. So are you gonna biscuit review first? I. You can't. Or you can't order the thing around. How has he forgotten his password? <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to the Biscuit Review live streams, the most professional live stream of all. Um, <laughs> all right, have a, little have a little fiddle. I'll, I'll, I'll just entertain. Okay. All right, and then we'll see. And if if I get a call through, then I get a call through. If not, I'll do some juggling. Okay. Happy mm -hmm. juggling. Okay. Bye.
Um, <laughs> let, let me start again. Let me start again. Let me start again. Are you ready? Let me start. <clears throat> It's 1316 on Friday the 10th of November, and that can mean one thing, and one thing only, it's time for today's Biscuit Review and Journey Home Livestream with me, and the Biscuits of course, with me, it's your host, it's Edward C. Lewis! Hello everybody, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, of course, today is the most exciting day of the week, and that is uh, Bisquiz Day. It's Friday, and it is the only day where you get to drink tea with your pals and uh, review a biscuit. Today we have a very, very special biscuit for review. We'll be reviewing the biscuit around about quarter to the hour. I firmly believe that WNL, even if he can only appear via the form format of... Um, my phone on speaker into a microphone will be here to deliver today's quiz. It's been a long time and I'm really sorry that I haven't been here around doing the BIS quiz a lot lately. It's just been a little bit um, hectic. It's been busy. Uh, my role is changing a little bit frontier. Don't worry, you'll never lose me. But it's just more of a, like I'm going into sort of managerial position where I'm managing a team of people and it's... Ooh. You know, it's it's harder than, than you'd expect to keep that up and also keep up a schedule of live streams as well. I just realised I was watching some videos of myself earlier. I seem to do a lot of um, a lot of this, but I'm going to keep. Uh, you you can't get rid of me that easily. I will be clinging on to Elite Dangerous until the day that well they'll have to pry it from my cold dead hands. Uh, any sort of Elite Dangerous coverage that I do. So, um, oh look, I was a little bit short there as well. Um, so how have you all been? All of the best ones are here, Jester D. I've been um, uh, manager of the community team for about three months now, uh, and I'm ever so slowly getting there, team, uh, three, three, three to four months. So uh, yes, it's managing the team I'm currently on, but I've had that for, for, for about three months. I just haven't really openly spoken about it because it was kind of being finalized and stuff like that. Um, anyway, uh, but cold Ted hands. <laughs> Cold Ted Hands. Has anyone seen Cold Ted Hands? Let me get him on the phone. Um, so, <laughs> today is, of course, the. It's time. Well, it's, it's Biz Quiz time, meaning that my dad will be on that television screen in no time at all, fingers crossed. Um, no time at all, fingers crossed, to deliver today's quiz, which is actually all about insects. It's me versus you, the chat. Uh, and all kind of things. Anyway, Ing Marvin Spengen says, How is Bo doing? Bo is very well. So you're Bo's boss now for the last three months. Yes, but we keep it quiet, um, to be completely honest, because it's not really a big deal. Just just carry on. Ed's taking more responsibility. Ed will need to expand his staff. Either after we could hire more community folks or we could clone Ed. By the way, all of the best ones are here. We've got the Honey Thief, Jack Din, Perka, Ing Marvin, Commander, NSR2, Baldy Wicked. Can I say that even if I take like a two, three week break, I love the fact that you guys will still come by. Does anybody know Dave Pearson? Anybody in the chat know uh, uh, Dave Pearson? Six legs, three main body parts, and a face. Insects. Um, Dave Pearson. Anybody know Dave Pearson? Because somebody should message Dave Pearson now. Just today. Somebody message, message him in whatever way you possibly can to say that we uh, are going to be reviewing his biscuits today that he specifically gave to me. And I'm not going to go into too much more detail about it, but he's very excited about it. Thank you, Andy Pipkin. I had a lovely time on the stream yesterday as well. I think it might be time to sort of maybe call him uh, and see what is going on. So sure, so I'll, give him, I'll give him a try again. Let's, let's do a live a live phone call here. So do, do forgive any swearing. They never swear. They're not swearing types. Hello. H Hello, Helen. You're you're live on the internet. Oh hi. Uh, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Slightly irritated with the <laughs> fabulous noise in the background. Is this still going on? Great. Oh yes, it is. Even so, louder than ever. 
Wait. Oh, we can hear it. Boom. Listen. Wait. Wait. Would you like to do it over the telephone? Well, guys, we um, we could do, but the problem with that is that you still won't get rid of that noise. No. So, no, so the reason why that noise is happening. Have to go out into the into the garden. Throw it into the bin. Like, throw it. Just throw it out of the window. It is tempting. Oh, yes, but it might not come through. Right, so, so, no, no, no. Um, what, do it over the telephone. Well, no, I don't mind. I think we can get, we can get it working. We can get it working. The, oh, well, let's do it together. So the first thing that you need to do is press Control, oh, okay. Alt, Delete. Alt, Delete. Control, Alt, Delete. Control, Control Alt, Alt, Delete. delete. Yeah. yeah. OK, it's, it's just getting that now. Oh, I've tried to set up a new Skype account in the meantime, but I was waiting for a telephone cord. Is, is everybody Control, picking up? Oh, everybody, by the way, we've up. got we've got hello from um, Percat two five nine multi. No, that's only one. Says hi. Jack Din says hello. Percat. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, you've got Ainsley Harriet's face for some reasons in there. Oh, how lovely. You've got. Yeah, it's all very yeah, it's all very very nice. Oh, very uh, nice. So has that been brought up on the screen now? You should have Task Manager so, on there. You should be able to click Task Manager. Task Manager has come up. Neil, is that correct? It says. Lock, switch, news. <laughs> I can't speak now. Yeah, switch, user, or sign out. Or change a password. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's good. He's found it. He found task manager. Task manager is there. Mm -hmm. Change password. <laughs> Skype. Google. So right Skype. click onto Skype or click on Skype and then press end click task. On Skype and then press end task. Yeah. Thank you, Control Shift Escape. Thank you very much, Perka. <laughs> click on Skype and then end <laughs> task. <laughs> Have you done that, love? You click on Skype and end task. Yeah. He said it hasn't done it. <laughs> 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 it's been about 25 <laughs> minutes now. Alright, so, <laughs> so I've, got, I've, got, I've got the solution for you. <laughs> <laughs> Holds the off button on the laptop. Okay. Yeah, so we're another thing. Oh, hang on. <laughs> uh, when it hits Skype, it doesn't do anything. It just comes back to something over there. <laughs> oh. Shall we just switch it off? Just, just hold the off button. <laughs> okay. No, not like yeah. this. Hold the off button now. Saying, Don't that... force shutdown, says Percat259. Percat259 is not happy about this. <laughs> so he thinks <laughs> Percat259 says, not like this, with his head in his hands. Oh, no. He says, just press the start, restart, start. Press the... S I, I just really think that we all need to round of applause when this is, when this is finished, everybody. <laughs> press, press, <laughs> press... Just try and switch it off now. It's better than going in the bin. We tried to end the process. Is it, it, we don't don't buy just just let him know not to get annoyed, it's okay. <laughs> it is a bit irritating. Do you, know, do you know where that button is? Yeah. Yeah, that one with the little light and just press on that one. The noise has gone. The noise has stopped. Round of applause, everybody. We managed to fix. Yay. This is. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we got that going. Put put him on. Let's do the quiz over the over the phone. It's okay. We can Let's work this out. Let's do it. Yes. Let's do it. And they could draw lovely pictures of me as his fan. No, you just come across now with the questions and you can do it over the telephone. Did you say they could draw pictures of a lovely bearded man? Yeah, if they're missing him. Okay. Everybody at home, please draw pictures of a lovely bearded man. <laughs> <laughs> and post them in the chat if you're able to. Uh, but hopefully, can people hear the phone okay? I will pop him on now. Bye. Okay, bye, bye, thank you. Uh, hello, WNL.
Hello, Naviana. Hello, hello. How, how are you doing? Can I... You really want me? I don't think I. Uh, your live stream wouldn't take that sort of language. You also can't see the chat either, can you? No. So this is, you know, unless I can sort of delve into the souls of folk, we might just discuss ten questions and uh, call it an honourable draw. Actually, hang on. I might be able to see um, the chat stream. Helen, hand me the computer. <laughs> this is. What? This is. What? We're we're going to do this. Okay, this is happening. But I would really look. I mean, okay. So here's. If you've never been here before, hi and welcome to the. Oh, Helen, can you stream? Get started. I'm going to start it. Having 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 turned off my computer, I, I don't need to turn. Off. I wasn't a luddite before today. Maybe no, I've already caught it up on that. Maybe you could. Maybe, Sorry. Maybe when you restart the laptop now, maybe it will yeah. work. Maybe Skype will work at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I doubt it because uh, I signed out. Yeah. And then couldn't sign back in, and they they mm. you know and they they want me to. Yeah. So send me a code and all sorts. I'm sorry, that was my fault because I told you to sign out, didn't I? Yeah, I thought, that's okay. I thought, I thought it would fix it. Don't blame me. I thought it would fix too. Um, oh, here, I've actually got you up now, so. You got, oh, so you can take chat. Hang on. Oh, yes. Right, so you need to mute delay. that now. Make sure you mute it. Okay. All right. I will, I promise. Everybody, don't go away. <laughs> if you haven't been here before, uh, it, uh, um, this is a, a live stream where I have my dad. He comes on the screen, he's on Skype, and usually he's on the little TV that you can see just to my uh, on-screen right, and he gives us a, uh, a quiz all about some subject or other. And then at the end, we, we have lift off. It. We have lift off. What do you mean? With what? Uh, I mean, I've, I've managed to mute. I can see you. I can see the chat stream um, in, in that respect. I mean, that's as far as I think we're going to get today. So you don't have... You'll just have to put up not seeing me. Well, what I've done is I've got a little... Uh, I've, I've got a, a little temp... I thought I heard the noise then. Um, you did hear the noise. She started up the other computer and it's still there. <laughs> I have no idea what it is and how to get rid of it. Oh my gosh! Oh gosh! Yeah. All right, sorry. Yeah, is that is that not quite right? A little bit. Like, oh, you've got you've got a, a yeah. picture of me. I see now. Like yeah. A temporary picture of you there, so that people can imagine that that's what you look like. Well, you see, because today I actually had visuals. You know, mm. uh, you know, a fortnight ago I went down to uh, mm. Twickenham and I had my Cleveland Browns uh, dog bone hat to oh. wear. Well, I'm sorry that um, I'm sorry that it didn't quite work out for you today. I really am, <laughs> and I'm sorry everybody at home as well that it didn't quite work out that we don't get to see the Cleveland Browns hat. Um, is everybody okay? Can everybody hear the quiz questions correctly? Do a sample question right now, or a pretend question that isn't a real question. A pretend question that isn't a real question. Mm -hmm. um, which day of the week it does did did Halloween fall on? Which day of the week did Halloween fall on? Hey, the honey thief says that the audio is absolutely tip-top. Tip-top, even better than usual, probably. They say they can hear and perfectly. They, and they all got their answers correctly. So why don't you, first of all, apart from this disaster, which has probably elevated your heart rate on an unnecessary amount, and I'm very sorry for that, what is, <laughs> uh, what is what's, what's your week been like? My week, my week has been actually fairly good. I mean, all sorts of highlights and things like that. I mean, we've had, of course, last week it was um, Collins Dictionary came up with their word of the year. I know what it is. Fake news. I know, but that that upset me greatly because it's a phrase. It's not a word. It's two words. It's, How dare they? Yeah. And a dictionary. A bunch of lexicographers, and they don't know the difference between a phrase and a word. But anyway, you're right. It's fake news. It sounds... Or, or is it? it, it we don't know. It sounds like you... Have already been getting your heart rate raised this week unnecessarily by these yeah. sorts of things. <laughs> um, no, no, the building is going well with the new kitchen. Uh, the walls are up, the sea, uh, the uh, the roof is on, yeah. and uh, oh yeah, and plumbers and electricians are coming in this next week. Who knows? We might have a kitchen soon. Okay. 
<laughs> this is not WNL's week, says Percat259. Apart from the new kitchen, which sounds very exciting. All right, so uh, I have to come back and see it sometime soon. The, by the way, if anybody, if you are new to this live stream, usually I'll tell you what happens. He comes on the little screen there, and he's in full motion, and he does a quiz for us, and it's a lot of fun. It looks like we're still going to be able to do the quiz, which is fantastic. Technology. We'll get it working for next time for next week. But for now, um, um, excuse me. We're going to have to deal with this, but also and then at quarter to the hour. So in 15 minutes time, we're going to get a quiz done in 15 minutes. I'm sure we can do it. Uh, we will be uh, doing today's biscuit review as well. I go for a little short two minute break and get a fresh cup of tea and then we begin the biscuit review. Got a very special guest biscuit review sent in by Dave Pearson. I've said his name. Uh, I hope he doesn't mind. <laughs> Vatian21. Uh, so I, uh, well, we'll see. He's probably going to be very angry at me. Um, but let's get on with it. So, how does the quiz work? The quiz, the quiz. Well, I have access to the uh, the chat stream, the chatters, and I can see them because you'll turn it off. And basically, I'll ask a question. They'll give me an answer, and I'll take their first three answers and try to find consensus. If I don't have a majority, then it'll just be the first answer that I received. Then I'll uh, ask you for your answer. We'll compare the two and find out who scores the points. Okay, wonderful stuff. I think that's clear for everybody here. And remember that there's no Googling, absolutely no Googling allowed. Uh, if you, it, you're only cheating yourselves, and we will know. We'll just have we have a sense, and then the alarm will go off. Everything shuts down. The pub shuts down. The shutters come down in the front, um, and it, the TV will explode. Uh, so please don't do that, because we'll automa automatically know that kind of stuff. But yes, thank you, and I hope you've all uh, got your seats and you're feeling nice and comfortable and ready to, uh, well, ready for uh, what is going to be the greatest quiz of your life. All right, I'm going to close down the chat now, so I won't be able to see the chat. Goodbye, and uh, we'll see you after the quiz in about 10 minutes. See you in a sec. Okay, he I'm can't ready. see you. He can't see you, but I can. And, uh, well, of course, this week, it's on insects. It's, uh, it's a topic we agreed a few weeks ago uh, at the last go, and it's all about insects. Okay, here we go. Question number one. Scientifically speaking, how many legs does a true insect have? Scientifically speaking, how many legs does a true insect have? That's question number one. Starting off with the easy ones. I have their answer. Six. Six is correct. So, and you both scored. So, chat stream and Edward, it's one apiece. Wonderful. Okay. On to question number two. Now, question number two, uh, simple multiple guess, okay? Um, I'll give you three answers, and one of them's correct. Give it to me. The insect class uh, classification Lepidoptera, L-E-P-I-D-O-P-T-E-R-A, Lepidoptera. Does that cover flies, beetles, or butterflies? Do it one more time. Lepidoptera. Lepidoptera. The insect classification Lepidoptera. Does it cover flies, beetles or butterflies I have their answer I'm gonna go for butterflies you're going for butterflies and uh, you are correct as were they I don't know why I know that piece. I don't know why I know that Lepidopter it, it covers moths as well but no. uh, yeah the butterflies will do it Lepidopter yes question number three this gets even simpler true or false Okay, if, if you agree with the following statement, uh, write down the entire word true, disagree, the entire word false. Here is your statement. Dragonfly nymphs may spend up to five years underground before becoming an adult. Dragonfly nymphs may spend up to five years underground before becoming an adult. True or false? Number three. All right, I'm going to go with my gut instinct because I, I, well, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'll wait till you've got the answer from them first. Um, I have their answer. Peter, gin and tonic, please, mate. Sorry? Just call it. I'm calling Peter to see if he can give me a gin and tonic. Oh, oh yeah, well. It's behind the... No, not a peanuts. Look behind you. have got plenty you. of peanuts. Gin and tonic. All right. Um, so I'm going to say true because you wouldn't try and fool us with that. You're going to say true? Yeah. It is absolutely 
true. False. It's true. It's false. They're so. aquatic insects. They spend up to five years underwater. You tricksy man! You're not supposed Thank to trick you. us. You're not Thank usually you. a tricksy man. And, uh, and well, they've scored correctly. They've scored correctly. The first one was true. The next two were false. The fourth one, which doesn't count, was true. So it was split, but they get the point. And forge into the lead. The chat stream is ahead. Three, two. Mm. Okay, yeah, they're underwater things. Yeah, underwater for five years and then, uh, or up to five years and before they come up as adults. Question number four then, all about insects. Number four, the adjective for being insect-like. Is it insectian, insectile, or insectival? Oh. The adjective used for uh, referring to, well, being insect-like. Is it insectian, insectile, or insectival? Okay, and I think that they'll get this right, and and, I, and I'm annoyed that I'm not going to get this right. <laughs> I'm going to guess it, but I think that they're going to... Yeah, they should get it right. Because they discuss these sorts um, of things all the time. I've got their answer. Insectile. You're going for insectile. The vast majority of them said insectile as well. I hope you all thought a great deal, lots of thought involved, because they can all be used. Oh, they're, it's they're a trick all question. applicable. Yes, insectile, insectile, or insectival. God, you know the tricks today. What is happening? <laughs> I, I, I've had a few weeks to set this. Yes, here we go. <laughs> and you just got annoyed every week and added a joke trick question. <laughs> okay, chat stream. Chat stream is still in the lead, four oh, to one. three. Only by the one. Okay. And we're at the halfway stage. It's question number five in today's quiz, all about insects. I would like to know, simple yes or no, is a scorpion a true insect? Yes or no? Scorpions, are they classified as insects? Yes or no? Okay, I'm waiting now here. Uh, I have their answer. Yes. You're going to say yes. And I'm going to say you are absolutely incorrect. It's an arachnid. It has eight legs. Is it really? I thought it yeah, had six. Yeah, yeah. I was trying yeah, to think. I, mean, I was like... It, well, no, it, it looks very insect-like and acts very insect-like, but it does have eight legs. Oh. Okay, so... Of course I thought, uh, no, it's only got four legs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't spend that, that long looking at scorpions, really. Well, I mean, we're not talking about, yeah, you know, sort of picking the legs off to make them fit or anything like that, you know. It is, yes, it, it has eight, so it's an arachnid. So, it's three points to you. It is five points to the chest stream <sighs> at the halfway stage. There's still time to make it up. Not much, but, uh, but a bit. I, I, look, after the way that today's gone, I don't have any, I have very little faith in myself. <laughs> I have very little faith in the Lewises today, is what I'll say. <laughs> Oh, I d I'm 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 going to take an axe to that computer. <laughs> you really um, should. It's so old. <laughs> well, no, no, this no, it, this is the new one. That's what? the new one. Oh. That's the new one. And and but it just keeps playing that funny, you funny thing to, to me. Look, some sort of ringtone. You need to close Skype. It's Skype. It's a weird bug with Skype. I've seen it before, where it, where it just keeps looping the 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 ringtone through to you. But I don't know how to how to how to close it because every time I close it, it does it just keeps the rings on no matter what. You need to just, just close down the computer, restart the computer. Anyway, we're halfway through a quiz here. Now's not the time. Here to we go. We Question number six. Number six. Uh, again, a bit of a multiple guess. Why do crickets rub their wings together? Is it to warn off enemies, attract a mate, or keep warm? Why do crickets rub their wings together? Is it a matter of warning off enemies, attracting mates, or keeping warm? That's number six. I have their That's answer. A good question. It's a really, really smart question. I'm going to say because it is night time. I'm going to say to keep warm. You're going to say keep warm. Well, you're you're, you're continuing with your string of incorrect <laughs> answers. It's actually to attract a mate. Yes, and uh, the chat stream have scored again. <laughs> 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 At least I got the first three right. I looked really smart at first, like, I was, yeah, yeah, uh, butterflies, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, if they miss the next four, and you get the next four, you beat them by I one. I can still win. I'm going to do this. Okay, here happen. we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, watch this. Qu on, on to question number seven, one for you biblical scholars, okay? The ten plagues of Egypt mentioned in the Bible include two that refer 
to insects. Now, the first was biting insects thought to be flies. What was the second insect plague? A plague of what? Ten plagues of Egypt include two that refer to insects. The first was biting insects thought to be flies. What was the second insect plague? I have their answer. Locusts. A, a plague of, sorry? Locusts. Locusts is correct. Yes, well done. You're back on. But they got it right. Um, but so are they. So now now it's a possibility of a, of a draw. Um, they're they, at they seven points score? to four. Are they on for a perfect score? They got, sorry? Are they on for a perfect score? They're, uh, yes, they're on for a perfect score. Wow. Look at you guys. And uh, I think today so could be a perfect score day. Question number eight. Number eight, the original version of The Fly, we're talking films, was released in 1958, and a remake was done in 1986. I'd like you to name either of the actors who took the lead role of the scientist who mutates into a grotesque human fly. Original version of The Fly was back in 1958. Remake done in 1986. Name either of the actors who took the lead role of the scientist who mutates into a grotesque human fly. I have their answer, and they've all gone for the 1986 version. And so am I, unfortunately. Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum is correct. Well done. Uh, anybody out there know the, the original? I don't. Um, Gregory Peck. <laughs> it's not Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck? Ah, uh, good. Big Fun Art says yes. Uh, and and Gabby, ha Gabby Hayes. Gabby Hayes 54. Gabby Hayes. I, I, you'll have to investigate this for me, Edward, but Gabby Hayes was um, uh, a character actor in American films in yeah. the 1930s and 40s. But I think he... he spelled it with a double B, whereas this is only a single B. But anyway, uh, yeah, they all know that it's Vincent Price. Oh, is it Vincent Price? Okay. Vincent Price, and he was very good. He got he got stuck. I mean, the animation was, was quite strange, back to the filming techniques, I guess, when he was a fly and stuck in the spider's web at the end. I uh, hope I'm not destroying this Spoilers for anybody. Spoilers from 19 you have, you have his little face, his little face uh, sort of superimposed on the fly, and he's going, help, help, I'm Philippe, I'm Philippe, but the spider's closing in. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. Well, the scores stand with two to go at five points to Edward and eight points to the chat stream. It's not too bad. I'm not doing too badly. Not doing badly <laughs> at all. Poorly. Yes. Okay. As you say, you know, it's, it's you against, uh, well, the uh, advancing hordes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Question number nine, next to last in today's quiz. That's you lot. That's the chatters, the advancing hordes. Oh. <laughs> the body of an insect is divided into three parts. The head, the abdomen, and what's the middle part oh, called? Oh, come on. Those are the two bits that I knew. <laughs> the head and the abdomen are the other end. And what's the bit in the middle called? Uh, they, have, uh, they have given me their answer. The torso. <laughs> I don't know. The, 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 the very close. It's Fox. actually the thorax. Well done. Okay. Hey, you got there. Did just I get before. that one? Does that count? Yeah. I heard you say th 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 and I was like, oh. That's what, that was. I was just. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give it to you. They must Six be, plays they, nine. They, they, they got it right as well. They're on for a perfect score today. You never know that uh, those words may have come from the same place: torso and thor thorax. Just Probably. Saying. They sound similar. Well, um, well, I'll have to look that up now. Now you, you've uh, whetted <laughs> my, my appetite, what? my imagination. What? Okay, what? question number 10. Last one in today's quiz. Um, as I say, you can't win this, but uh, you're doing very well. It's six points to nine. Right. Um, and we're going to finish off with, uh, well, a question about uh, the grouping of insects. The largest group of insects. Okay, we're talking about classifications again. The largest group of insects, is it... Butterflies and moths, bees and wasps, or beetles? Mm. The largest group of insects. Is it butterflies and moths, bees and wasps, or beetles? That's question number 10. Okay, got my answer. I, I have their answer. I'm going to go for beetles. You're going to go for beetles, and they went for beetles, and you're both 
absolutely correct. Well Yay. done. With over 400,000 species, it's nice. beetles. Nice. Nicely done, everybody. That's 10 out of 10 for the chatter. 10 out of 10. A, a perfect score. Back. They've done well. Welcome back, everybody. Congratulations, Ed Orin, JSB, Gabby Hayes, 54, Ing Marvin Speng, and Mali 71, Orange Spark, Bush Ranger, Van Tian. Well done. And thank you, Van Tian, for coming along. Welcome to the Biscuit Review uh, uh, and Biz Quiz live stream, if this is your first time ever coming along to one. Um, so, Monsieur Lewis? I'm going to go and try to uh, correct whatever it is that's uh, making my computer malfunction. Well, there's one thing that we have to do first of all, though, and that is that we must, um, of course, pick next BIS quizzes next week. So it'll be next oh, yes. Friday. We need to pick next Friday's round. So, uh, what does everybody want next week's quiz to be all about? Put some ideas down in the chat, please. And then we will, uh, yeah, we'll pick, we'll pick something from there. Um, but yes, what a shame. I mean, seven out of ten is not too bad for for somebody, you know, on my own. And they got those guys got a perfect score. So if I had somebody with me, perhaps I would have, I would have also got a perfect score too. I don't. Know. Someone says cars. That's not something we've been on. Eurovision. That's an interesting one. Beatles. The films of James Hoyle. Scams. British sci-fi. Cats big and small. Monty Python. Vintage sci-fi, my childhood. Jackton asks that every single time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be retired. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Hammer movies. That's an interesting one. We haven't really talked about cars. We've never really done one like automobiles, have we? Or we did transport one. I remember. We did transport, but we could we could do one specifically on automobiles. Maybe, maybe that would be interesting. DIY, vintage computing, uh, films, uh, woodwork, Alan Park. They're referring to my computer again, vintage computing, yeah. <laughs> uh, Triple Time with Tim Taylor, um, movie actors. Yeah, Alan Partridge quotes is good, but uh, Edward, you would be too good on that, I, I think. I know I would, yes, I would actually probably win that one, so. Uh... Commander Lenin says, I've got no idea what I just stumbled upon. Well, Commander Lenin, uh, this is the BIS quiz. We were about to start the BIS review in just one minute time, but we're deciding on no next week's quizzes. Usually we have a moving image, but unfortunately we had some technical problems, so the moving image could not work today. So we've just got a, 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 a still image there. Uh, History of Elite. Um... The Z Zoltan the Hound of Dracula, very specific uh, suggestion there, Van uh, what Strange do you think? noises made by computers. We could have that, yeah. <laughs> very good. Um, cars is a good one. Let's do cars. We've never done cars. That seems like an interesting one to do. Okay, it'll be entitled Cars. Cars, yeah. And I'll, and I'll try to try to avoid uh, any questions. I'll, I'll look back and see what we did on transport and, and avoid any that we had in there. Okay, and very, very quickly... Uh, before you move on, do you have any uh, literature that you want to tell people about today? Well, actually, I did have a book, um, and I can't share it with you. Uh, it had a wonderful plate in it. Uh, yeah, it had a wonderful plate in it I, oh, of uh, Martin Luther, uh, an old an engraving of Martin Luther, because, of course, um, it, uh, it was the uh, 500th anniversary of the Reformation, where he, he took his 95 theses, I did say theses, and, and, and nailed them to the, the door of the church at Wittenberg. And it's, it's an interesting book. Um, it, it was purloined from uh, Bain School Library when they decided they no longer wanted to, to put it out to uh, students. So it's, it's a beautiful book, and uh, I'll show it to you at some point. But yeah, everything sort of switched as far as the church was concerned 500 years ago, and it's an interesting book with lots of old pictures. Cool. Uh, fantastic. And what was the book again, sorry? It's called... <laughs> and on, on the outside, you can't even see what it's called because of the, um, the cover. The Reformation of the 16th Century. That sounds fascinating, as usual. We're, in, we're into history today, yeah. Yeah, as usual, always something fascinating and interesting to talk about. Thank you so much for coming on, and thank you for doing this. I know that it's a, it was a hassle to, to get this sorted, so I'm sorry that you... But it was, we, I'd like to say it was my pleasure today, but it was also my pain, yeah. Yeah, what, what, so let's, let's turn off the television. Let's turn it off. Let's get the, the vision off the screen. Are you ready? I've got a new controller for it, as you can see. Uh, no, wait, no, wait. Wait, it's not working. No, no, that's not, that's not working. That's not, uh, <laughs> sorry. No, that's still not it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh my God. It's a new control. No, you, 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 you've gone from the screen, but you can still hear you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Speak Goodbye. to you soon. I'll call you soon. Bye. Okay, sounds good. Cheers. There you go. He, he's gone.
Um, I've just remembered everybody as well that I'm actually off next Friday. It's my birthday weekend. So it's going to be two weeks uh, before we do the next one. Right, very, very quick. We've got 10 minutes. That means we've got time for a biscuit review. Got to go to the back soon screen with the nice, uh, chippy, cheery, happy music. And uh, I will be back in one second with a fresh cup of tea ready for today's biscuit review. It's uh, 13.53 on Friday the 10th of November and that can mean only one thing and it's time for today's biscuit review uh, Just really quickly. Oh, hello. You're off the side there. What do you think of my new bar? What new bar? Look. Oh! Okay. So lean against lean it. Lean against it. Hey, hey. Uh, Pine Stella, please, love. Come, come here us. often? Come, me? Um, once a week on Fridays. Okay. Uh, Clearly, I don't come here often you enough. Don't, yeah, you don't <laughs> see me. All right, hello. Today I've got. Um, can you just shovel over that way? Sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, okay. I've brought on with me, we've had a disastrous day. Okay. Walt and Neil Lewis was on doing the BIS quiz and we couldn't get Skype working, so he was over my phone and I was holding up the phone oh, no. to a camera. So you think you, he, I can save this disastrous day? You can day. save disastrous day. Today <laughs> I am joined by. My mic is on, so I don't know why it's quiet. My day, my day is joy. I'm, I'm joined. It's getting terrible. It's terrible. You're going to save this disaster today. Joined by audio designer and engineer, sort of. You say it. Yeah. Um, uh, Ross Stack. Hello. Ross, how are you? Chirpy today. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm fine. It's Friday. I literally walked I've past got you. that going for me. Yeah, I walked past you and I was like, Ross, come on. And you're like, uh, all right. Oh, it's Christopher Reeve. I've never heard that before. Yeah, have you not? Have you? No, oh, that was me yeah. being sarcastic. I hear okay, that so you, quite often. Yeah, you actually do look like Christopher Reeve. I do. Though, so Slightly, that's, yeah. that's your fault. You can't blame. <laughs> what do you mean? You it's can't my blame fault. Anyone I was else born like that. this. All right, so Ross, we've got our biscuits. Right? Okay, we've got a guest. Biscuits. I know nothing. Just for the record, I know nothing about, about the, biscuits. the biscuits. Yeah, and we've got. Well, there's something that we're missing here. Something that we need desperately in order to make this biscuit review possible. Is it the spreadsheet? Uh, it is the spreadsheet. 
but I, again... Why do you not have it as a shortcut on your desktop? Don't, don't talk to me about that. <laughs> don't, don't worry, I've got it, I've got it all. It's all organized. Everything's fine. You don't need organization for, to make these things work. But there it is, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, it's the French Swiss Reggie. All right, okay. so as you can see, we have 100, which we be quite quick, I've got a meeting at two. We've got 163. This is Biscuit Review number 163, because number one, of course, is the name, appearance, taste, texture, durability, dunkability, post taste, satisfaction, moisture, and a total. Uh, these were sent in by Vantion21. Uh, there are two types of biscuit in this box. We're going to go for just the one today. Uh, if I'm completely honest with you, I'm going to go for the, well, which one would you suggest? Light or dark? Dave, go. He sent these in specifically. Mm -hmm. So many biscuits. It's a ridiculous. Also known as cookies, if you are American. If you could open those up for me, maybe we'll hold them to the camera. Today, to review, we have dark. He's going for the dark. Okay. We have the... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Let's hold that. <laughs> right. Let's these invisible biscuits. Let these invisible biscuits. Uh, let's hold that. One sec, one sec, one sec. One this sec, is one excellent. Sec, one sec. Let's this just is. Remove that. Right, there you go. Okay. So hold it back a bit. There. Yeah, yeah. Nice and focused. These are Alfa Jores Havanas. Alfa Jores Havanas in so both. They're not cigars. Just they're not cigars, but um, if they can were. Can that be the next thing? That's can the we. Next review is, is the cigar review. Yes, please. Cigar review! All right, let's close this down a little. I, I, uh, I'm opening these, right? These are. Yes, these are the ones. No! <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> right, so. They've lost all their value. Uh, all right. All right, you ready? Alpha Yore. Is that right? Alpha. Ah. Alpha. Alpha. Something like that. Alpha. Yeah. Havana. They look like they've got gooey chocolate in the middle. I'm very excited about I these. I am excited about these. Do you think these? they're biscuity enough? There's a bit. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Look, hold that out to the camera if these people look, can see that. These look. These are premium biscuits somewhat. They've got individual, you can't see them because of the chroma key. I'm getting rid of the chroma key, just for this just for this segment. And I'm sorry, I know that. Let's just ruin the illusion. Ruin, smash the illusion to pieces, uh, just for the sake of, uh, of this. Um, because, gosh, do they look. I mean, you can't really see anyway, to be completely honest. No, like. just, it's. There, there seems to be quite a lot of packaging. Hold on a minute. Um, hold on a minute, guys. This is, and I, and I know that I said I have a meeting. It's my meeting. I'm running it, so it can they can wait. Um, uh, sorry, team. <laughs> this looks second. like it's really difficult to open. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You didn't have any words, did you, Ross? <laughs> no. Me? Okay. Okay. All right. Are you ready for this? We're going to add another camera. This is this is what you call. Um, I'm um, having difficulty here, Ed. This is what you call. <laughs> this is what you call gorilla camera, mate. Gorilla cameraing. All right. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> these are. Wait, wait. I want to see this. I almost. Want see this. I want to see this. This is this. Is hermetically what sealed is what I would say. Um, okay. Turn the game down a little. Let's get this exposure a little bounced out there. Do we have a scissors? <laughs> Do we have a scissors? So you've got what I want to just tell you there is we now have as well. If you want to, can you tuck that round there for me? All the way around. Biscuit cam. All right. So, so you now we can see the problem that you're having there. <laughs> uh, it, it is. Uh, it's. It's, like, it's. Yeah. You can see what they look like at least. They're very, they're individually packaged. Do you want me to go and get a scissors? I don't, I think I can get a scissors if you There's, well, actually, there's you literally one on my desk. All right, it's just okay, around there. I'm going to go get You need to take your mic off there. Okay. It's all going so well, everyone. Yeah. It's all going well. Good point. Okay. I feel like a 90s, like a 90s. Um, <clears throat> this is the Biscam. Uh, thanks for coming along. Thank you, everyone. I'd like to point out that I actually run with the scissors. You should never run with scissors. Um, that's what that's something that's a that's a, a very important thing that people say is to never run with scissors. Yeah. And you well, just did it. Rules meant to be broken. <coughs> okay, so All we're right. gonna I'm gonna make my first incision. <laughs> okay, let me let me watch. Okay. First incision. I'm All you. I'm going to say Ed, is these better be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's, there's two types in here. There's right. the okay. silver ones and I the think gold we're going ones. I for the gold ones. 
Okay. Wonderful. They are. They have been opened up. If you could, if you could open them up for me. Oh, that's, that's oh okay. no, you're losing a so little bit. Of when I get, mm -hmm. I'm gonna open this. Sorry, your face is not on the screen. I'll leave it there. A little just. Okay, that's it. all right. That's intense. Sorry Ooh, about look at this. Game. What do you think of this? That? Looks impressive. Yeah. Reminds me a little bit of a wagon wheel. <laughs> you know those? Yeah. Yeah. Is it actually a biscuit or is this a chocolate bar? Is there like some is, kind of marshmallow? Is it? this going to be disqualified for being a chocolate bar? Okay. Do I don't think? know. That one's for you. Thank you very much. Okay. I don't know. This looks like it's going to contaminate my tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think that, I, don't, I don't know. They smell incredible. They do smell really rich, rich chocolatey smell. <laughs> First impression is that I really. <laughs> Ross is such a good biscuit reviewer. I love this. Keep going. I just, I, like, I instantly yeah. want to just get my teeth around yeah. it. Okay. Um, so. Can, can you hurry this along? Can we get to the, to Sorry, the eating, eating part? I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> get rid of the Biscam for the second. Okay. Sorry, goodbye Biscam. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, so, so, okay, so the first thing that we need to it. test is the appearance. How do you feel about it straight away when you're looking at it? How does it feel? It is... Mm. There are only three per packet as well. There are only three per packet. I think In the whole experience of opening the packet well, and the, the appearance <laughs> of, of, of the packaging of the gold. No, there's no points of packaging in this. In this, the, the gold wrapping. It reminds me of the golden ticket from. Uh, our so you're feeling really positive. Charlie in the yeah. chocolate factory. Uh, I feel like I've won time. something. Yeah. Um, sorry, well, my colleagues are asking me when the meeting is. <laughs> Tell them all come up. We'll, 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 we'll all review <laughs> all right, this together. Okay. Right. okay. Okay, so we, we appearance you, out of ten. Okay, I'm I think they're incredible. Looking. I think it's a, a good solid seven point five. I'm gonna go for seven point eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's go. The most. I'll give you the most important time. It's okay. the taste. Are you ready? Hmm. That's not a biscuit. Oh, it is. It's got biscuit in it. It's very soft, though. It's so surprising. I did not expect. Oh, it's a bit cloying. 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 What does that mean? It kind of sticks to the roof of my my mouth. Hmm. This it's almost cake like. It's it's cake. It's a it's a cake. It's cake. I don't want to be too damning. But it might be cake. It's got a cake texture. Is it cake? Or Let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. It's anyway. quite heavy, but yeah, okay. What do you think, taste? Good chocolate. It's special, it's isn't good. it? It, it is. Certainly it is, is a, something. It's it a treat. It certainly is an absolutely, it's a very special treat. Yeah. In it's fact, one treat. second, I'm going to show off the cross section. Oh yeah, it's a good plan. Yeah. It's um, got like a, um, a, a, uh, is that is that? It's kind of a caramel, caramelly center. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Vantian, I don't want to. <sighs> I think I would go for. I like it. I think it's great. I'm go for a seven. Really? I'm going to go higher. So I was going to say eight. So I'm going to go for a seven point okay. five. Okay. Because it's right in the middle of what we said. Yep. All right. Texture. If I was looking for a biscuit, I'd need a little bit of crunch you in there. You need a little bit of a crunch. So if, if we're doing it by biscuit review standards, it's very little going for it from a texture point of view. But the actual soft caramelliness of it is quite nice. Like I want to eat more of it. I'm, I'm I want to eat this. By the way, this might get disqualified. By the way, uh, by the way, Vantian says no VAT, VAT on them. Therefore, they're biscuits. They're classed as biscuits. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Ross is not happy about this. Oh, okay, so look what you've done. What you've done here. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna. I genuinely, I'm gonna have to just message my team and say I'll be down there in two minutes. Um, this really has been a disastrous day for you. Yeah. Okay, texture. Um, I would say a five. Oh. Is that low? Yeah. No. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Six. It's good. My, okay. Let me tell you, this is special. It's it's yeah, it's good. But what? But, it's quite heavy. It's quite. It's heavy. It's 
quite heavy. Yeah, look, there's a big old Jaffa cake versus thing biscuits now happening. Uh, it's all it's all going horribly wrong. It's all going horribly wrong. They are. We've been waiting for quite a while to reveal these. They're very tasty, though. Aren't they, they are tasty. I want to try. I want to try the white ones now. Yeah. Durability. Okay. There's no crumbs. Zero there's, crumbs. There's no crumbs. So it's like it's like nine point eight, oh. isn't it? Who oh. says that? <laughs> 9.5, it's gone down. It's 9.4 now, 9.3. <laughs> it's all tumbling it's down. It's fragmenting. Right, here we go. We're going to destroy this now with a dunk. <laughs> like everything, look, everything oh, has I, to be... I probably won't eat it after everything this. Everything has to be measured in the same way, Ross. One, two, get it in. Two, <laughs> get it in, lad. <laughs> right, get out, get out. It's too much. Wait, one. You could hold this in there forever and it would never fall apart. So you by, think by the same? I'm doing it by the same standards. You can do that. It's just by the same standards as every other biscuit. It's going to last forever because it's a cake. Just, <laughs> That's why. <laughs> right, ready? <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not good. Oh, what's going on with the taste? It's getting worse. Mm. Can we review our taste? No. Oh. Mm. It's really, I think it's really good. I find this... I Having... When I finish this, I will not want another one. No. Then we'll get to that moreishness. Okay. Nine. Yeah. Post on taste, however, maybe a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look. All right. Are you going to finish it? I'm not sure. Satisfaction, it's kind of making me feel guilty. This is a biscuit, mm, possible cake, that's just making me feel downright guilty. He says, no, they're an after dinner treat, just the one. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Brian Trian, these are, the, these are, let me tell you, it's something, it's something very interesting about it. Something very unique, something very special about it. Yeah. It feels like um, um, a European continental treat. Or like a straight, like maybe it's from I don't know where are they from, Vantian. You can tell us where they are from. Um, okay. I like it. I can't eat any more. I feel good. I feel good about it. So I'm going to say for eight in terms of satisfaction, seven point seven. Hmm. And then I'm going to go Moorishness. <laughs> yeah, by the standards of every other biscuit that we reviewed, it has to be reviewed in the same way. I'd go for probably a five or a six. It's tasty. I'm ready to have one in the future again. I'd have another one like down the road. If I just, you know, I'm looking for something sweet after a dinner, I'd be like, let's go for one of the Havanas. I mean, look, I'm thrilled that I've got another three, of, another four of these to eat. I've actually got two packets, and I'm going to share them out with the with the developers. And I'm really excited for that. Like, the, I don't want to Argentinian. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to upset anyone. I find it too sweet for my palate. The thing I like about about biscuits is often they have a like salt content in them yeah. and the, the salt kind of it's the sweeter contrasts with, with the sweetness and you get this lovely kind this of guy. interplay of, this is of why flavors this is, um, this is just all sweet there's no there's nothing to kind of counteract five, that five you know? five. it's that's why i find it very heavy all right let's see um, where it scores so it scores yeah. at 57.8 which puts it all the way up here in sorry i need to Sorry, Perka. Every time I've got to apologise to him because he hates the way I do this. Yep, there's got to be a better way. There is a better way, yeah. but I'm not interested in better way. <laughs> We're just getting the job done. 78th place. So up there halfway. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think, and I think this is going to please the audience. Yeah, I think we need to disqualify. It's disqualified. It's disqualified. Disqualified for being a cake. And I was I was nervous about it from the very beginning, and I'm sorry, Vantian. I'm sorry, alas, <laughs> Vantian Twenty One says no, and everyone else is calling for disqualification. It's like it, no, I'm not going to read that comment out loud. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. All right, uh, but yeah, if this was a cake review, it'd do really well. Really? Don't be nasty about Vantian's No, I'd cakes. take a victorious plunge over that any day. <laughs> Everybody, thank you so much for coming along. 
Uh, it's been amazing. It's been a great week. I've got to really do something really quickly. I'm going to put the elevator music up and then really, 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 really quickly do this. There's only three people in the meeting. It's fine. And I'll just go down and be like the meeting. They don't. They don't do the things I want them to do anyway. All right. Tuplex. Thank you so much, Alec John Turner. Thank you so much, Andy Pipkin. Thank you so much, Aspect Change Bowman, Bolly Wookie, but always big fun up. Lion Speed, Bush Ranger underscore underscore Captain Duckman or the Commander underscore Ezeron, Commander underscore Ushiny, Commander underscore Pyrocho, Commander underscore Zarkin, Commander Lenin, Cabrian, Calyrix, Darvels, Ma, Dead Max, Edwin, E Free T M, Esol, Estimus, Frontier Developments, <laughs> Gabby Hayes fifty four, <laughs> Gandalf Lundgren. Graham MK, thank you so much. It's Jim Jams. Thank you, Jack Din. Thank you, Jack Little. Thank you, Jester D. Thank you, JSB3213. Thank you, Keith B. Thank you, Lockhart97, Malty71, Manic Allen, Master Ugwe, underscore, underscore, Max Ursa, Milstone Barn, Molan, underscore, Reich, Orange Spark. There's a lot of people there. Arctic 42, Burkat259, Quasar Score, Sci Warrior, Shaneri Rhinail, Smitty J982, Spysat, Stupas X, The Honey Thief. Thank you, Tyrica. Thank you, Unky Z. Thank you to our special guest, Vantian21, who uh, offered up these biscuits today. Thanks, mate. No, they, I, I, I can't wait to show these around. I think people will really like them. Wackaday, XD47, X-Pain X, -D 47, X, -Pain -X Yarders, Zookeeper's Girl, and Zulu Bax. Thank you all, everybody. And thank you, Ross. You're will welcome. you come back and do another one in soon? Yes, of course. All as right. long as it's a biscuit this time. <laughs> Sorry. Don't get salty. No, that's what you're into. <laughs> Bye! Bye-bye!